Welcome to X-Pine CV. I'm Nia Seymour. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may not be seated. Today is Thursday, May 25th, 2023. Let's take a nice and relaxing brain break. You breathe in through your nose. And then you hold that breath. When he goes down, you breathe out gently through your mouth and hold again. Great! This time let's do it together. Breathe in and hold and then breathe out and hold again. That was so refreshing. Now let's see what happened today in history with Alexander. Thank you, Nia. Good morning. In today's history on May 25th, 1977, the original Star Wars movie first debuted to theaters. The movie is about Luke Skywalker and friends trying to stop the rebellion against Dark Vader's galactic empire in order to keep peace and freedom in their galaxy. Many people loved this movie so much that the theaters were so crowded and tickets were hard to find. This one guy named Cammy said, after being stunned by the whole movie, my friend and I decided to see it again. Immediately after watching, many people started crowding record stores to buy the soundtrack album. What's your favorite Star Wars character? Now let's see what's on today's menu with Zarmel. Thank you, Alexander. Today's tasty lunch is chicken parmesan dinner roll, Italian sandwich, sweet potato fries, broccoli florette, mandarin oranges, and your trace milk. And tomorrow breakfast is oatmeal chocolate chip ultimate breakfast round. Grub crackers, fresh oranges, 100% apple juice, Lucky Charms, and your choice of milk. Students, keep in mind lunch and breakfast can change at any time at the RSBN lunch card. Don't forget to let the teachers know if you're going to be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, let's go back to Nia. Thank you, Zamal. Students, this quarter checks the software challenge ends on June 2nd. There's plenty of time to complete those lessons, so keep accomplishing, Patriots. Check the flyer for the requirements. Patriots. Please don't forget our cell phone policies. It's important to make sure you have your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And also, don't forget you are not allowed to chew gum in school. Make sure to spit it out before entering the building. The yearbooks are now on sale on myschoolbooks.com for $45. Make sure to order yours before they run out. Students, remember the Patriot store is open every morning. Tomorrow is the kindergartner's turn to go, so make sure to bring your tickets. Today our 8th graders will be attending their prom. I can't wait to see all of the looks. Now let's go to Melanie for Patriot on the Go. Hey Patriots, and welcome back to Patriot on the Go. My name is Melanie. Now let's see what our peers have to say about today's question. If you could interview any RPTV member, who would you interview? Hi, would you like to be interviewed? Yes. What's your name? Yana Lee. And the question is, if you could interview any RPTV member, who would you interview? I would interview Jasmine because she's like very nice and like I love all the RPTV members but like I think she's good answer what question would you ask her um if you had to pick any RPT member who would you pick good question thank you so much what's your name Annabella and the question is if you could interview any RPTV member who would you interview you why because you're really nice and pretty and I think you're the right one. oh thank you what question would you ask me if you have a best friend, who would you pick? Really interesting. I really have to think about that one. But thank you so much. Bye. What's your name? Jordan. And the question is, if you could interview any RPTV member, who would you interview? I would interview you. Why? 
because you're nice and and that and that also that I wish I could be into and I don't know. Would you interview any other RPTV member? Uh, no. Uh, no. Okay, well, thank you so much. What's your name? Sanaya. And the question is, if you could interview any RPTV member, who would you interview? I would interview you. Why? Because you're really pretty, and I think you would be a very good person to interview. Oh, thank you. Would you interview anybody else? Um, I would probably interview Santiago if you weren't here. Oh, okay. Well, thank you so much. What's your name? Kaden. And the question is, if you could interview anybody in RPTV, who would you interview? Mr. Santiago. Why? Because he's really fun. What question would you ask him? If you had a fox... What would you name him? Interesting question. Well, thank you so much. Thank you to all the wonderful second graders who answered this wonderful question. If I could interview somebody in RPTV, I would interview the whole crew. We're all special and individual in our own ways. But I'll see you guys next time. Hello, Patriots. Today's weather will be 85 degrees Fahrenheit with thunderstorms. Be sure to have an umbrella with you. In other weather news, have you ever wondered what the world's most expensive ice cream looks like? This ice cream is being sold at a whopping $6,000 and can only be bought in Japan. You're probably wondering why this Japanese delicacy costs so much, and the main reason is because of its ingredients. The ice cream's main ingredient is white truffle. This type of truffle in particular is seasonal, requires a very specific climate to grow, and also has a very short shelf life. Not only that, but the ice cream comes with two cheese types, a special paste and is topped with an edible gold leaf. Would you want to try this? I know I would. Now let's go to Ario for the birthdays. Thank you, Destiny. Today's birthday boys and girls are Carter Smith and Alejandro Santiago. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Nia. Thank you, Ariel. Patriots, here are Pax Expectations. It represents, present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the scores about respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Newton, Miss Sands, Miss Cavalita, Miss Manon, Miss Stone, Miss Merkel, Miss June, and Miss Carey. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was, who was the thief? The correct answer was three, because the girls have heels. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. What's the name of the pig in the book, Charlotte's Web? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcement. Everyone at IPTV would like to wish you all a thoughtful Thursday, and remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day!